reluctance to give money for charity. It's just a question of going at it in a, in a proper manner. Yes, yes, dear. And after all, an appeal for our wayward girls could be made very moving. Horatio D. White would not have any... Yes, dear, Mr. White may be all you say he is, but the truth of the matter is that I regret he has not been approached in a proper manner. After all, there's, there's kindness to be found in every human being, especially at Christmas time. A taxi! Every Christmas we try. Every Christmas he says no, absolutely, emphatically no. Well, this Christmas, Mr. White is going to open his heart and his pocketbook. Absolutely, emphatically, no. Oh, come, come, Mr. White. Surely a man of your towering personality can be a little less unbending, particularly at this time of the year. And what is so special about this time of the year? Why, it's Christmas time. Christmas time. Ah, humbug time. I beg your pardon? I said humbug, madam. Foisted on us by unscrupulous tradesmen and people gouging money out of the unsuspecting rich. Oh, dear. Now, if you'll excuse me. Oh, please, won't you just give me a moment and let me tell you about our wayward girls? Your girls, madam, can go right on being wayward for all I care. Or they can be accommodated in the jails and asylums I pay taxes for. It's incredible. Perhaps now we understand each other. Oh, yes. We understand each other now. Quite. Splendid. But I am sure, entirely sure, that the day will come when you will be pleased, only too pleased, to give to charity. When that day comes, madam, the angels will sing in the streets. When that day comes, we will all sing. Good afternoon, Mr. White. Oh, a Merry Christmas. Merry Humbug. <laughs>